Hello, Rose. How do you hear? You can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Perfect. Uh, good afternoon, Rahul. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome all to today's Kerala Blasters PC. Let's begin with uh, Ashwati. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon, Rahul. Uh, I'm Ashwati from Hafley Football. Ashwati. I hope both of you are doing well. Can I ask you the player first? Yes. Hi, Rahul. Uh, so you missed out on most of the games this season. And you're coming, which will decide the player sport. So how hard is that? And as a local player, how important is it to qualify for the semifinals? Uh, I think for sure, as a local player, as a part of the team, it's really important for us to qualify. But uh, also coming back from injury, it's really hard matches. But uh, I think what I've been doing is like, you know, controlling what I can. Like, you know, injury is not in my control. That happens. So after that, what I could do is like coming back and I was focused on it. And uh, really thankful to everyone in the club, coaching staff, all the physio team. And the club itself because they really took care of me and they were really showing interest that you know i also felt like you know they still want me back and that was a really great feeling and now important part of the moment right now for us so we are focused on the tomorrow's game okay thank you rahul hi coach so basically tomorrow's match against uh, basically tomorrow's match against mumbai city is like a quarter final before the playoffs so the adrenaline rush will be high and the team which keeps their nerves cooler will have an advantage. The senior players must be familiar with it, but as for the youngsters, they might have a hard time coping with the pressure. So what will be the match day talks like and how, how do you think 20 minutes? Well, me too as a local boy, as a local boy, I feel uh, it is very important that we are motivating tomorrow. <laughs> no, of course. It is a nice, uh, nice picture. You know, uh, we were speaking about these uh, moments long time ago. You know, as a football player, when you start uh, playing football, you dream about and uh, you work hard for uh, these kind of games. So tomorrow, it doesn't matter if you are a senior player or a young player. Of course, this is nice experience and a nice opportunity to, for all of us to play a good game. So that's it. So it's a good game, good opponent, and uh, that's everything you uh, you wish for. As a football player, this is uh, the, the thing that you're dreaming about, to go on the pitch and uh, play against the good teams, uh, trying to achieve something nice. That's the beauty of football. So we have our preparation. It doesn't change a lot uh, comparing to other games. So uh, this is what we do. This is what we will do today. To prepare this, we'll be ready to show our strength on the pitch. So that's all. Uh Coach, uh, thank you, Coach. Thank you, Rahul. Uh, all the best for the game. Thank you, Ashwati. Can we have Krishnan's question, please? Hi, Coach. Hi, Rahul. I am Krishnan from Gorsa. Hello, Krishnan. Um, hi, Coach. Uh, so, my question to you is, um, like, this is a do or die match for us. We need a result uh, to keep, keep our playoff hopes alive. Uh, in the first half against 10 9, we created a lot of chances. But uh, most of us, most of the players snatched down it and like it felt like uh, uh, players are under uh, somewhat pressure to get the result. So, uh, what do you say to uh, players in such instances? Like uh, uh, tomorrow is a must win game also. So, how do you manage that? You know, there there are games where uh, everybody was saying, you know, it will be an easy game against the opponent who has nothing to lose. They're already out of, of the race. And, you know, uh, when you have these kind of games, uh, these games are the most difficult to win. Then in the first half, when you face uh, uh, an organized opponent, uh, of course, you have to find uh, the way to break them down. When you are facing strong organized, uh, organized opponent. You know, sometimes it's not that easy. In the football game of 90, 95 minutes, you need to use every moment to try to uh, find those uh, chances to create them uh, in order to score goals, which in the first half, of course, it was, was not that easy. In the 
in a half time in the dressing room, we want, uh, uh, we talk to each other. So we uh, we show uh, what movements we could use and what we could create in a, in certain moments and parts of the field in, in order to create those chances. So the boys, they responded very well. And in the very beginning of the second half, we broke down the but the opponent zero down as an opponent, they had to go a little bit higher. It opened uh, more opportunities for us, of course, where we scored, uh, scored more goals. And that's the football game, because in every football game, everything is uh, different. All the games are different. You never know what can happen. So when you are facing now at the end of the competition, uh, opponents who are well organized, and you have to break them down if you are in possession, or you have to defend when they are in possession. So these kind of things now at the end, make difference uh, especially when you are now in a tight race where the small detail could make them so of course in a half time we had to reorganize certain things we had to change certain approach and that was it that resulted with uh, with our victory so and now in the last two games in this competition we'll have to manage those moments you know recognizing how we have to do the things and uh, how we have to organize and manage those games so that will be the key for uh, last two games. Okay, coach. Like a uh, couple of injury updates. Uh, is Jigsan and issue all are available or uh, are they still in recovery period? Uh, yesterday, today we have a this afternoon we have a training. We'll see what uh, the situation, how it will evaluate, and after the training we'll see if we can count on them or not. We have today's training at uh, uh, four thirty. So we'll see today. We'll still look now. Okay. Uh, my it's question to Ra okay, okay, okay. My question to Rahul is like you got injured in the first match, and uh, then uh, how frustrating was it to, to sit out and uh, like mentally uh, with all this going on uh, in the world and like in India and again uh, uh, team doing very well in your absence. Uh, so, how frustrating was mentally as a player to uh, go through that period? Uh, to be honest, it, like it, it was my toughest period of my career. Kind of like I missed almost most of the games because in India, if you see like in a player average plays like 20 games, and if I'm if I'm not able to play 20 games, that's like really not up to the mark. And you know, the more you play games, that's the only way to get gain more experience. So this is also a request to all the other players who is watching this or listening to this, like, you know, try to take care of your body because you cannot be missing games or trainings when you only have 20 games in a season or more, like, if you qualify, like, you know. So it's kind of a tough time for a footballer, for sure, when you miss games. And also for me, it was really frustrating. But the happiest part was team doing good. And of the day where you're playing is for the team. And when they do good, then you're, like, happy, like, you know, there is not really problems. But when they really don't do good, then... And there is also going on back and it's like that. Even they do good, it's really, it's really amazing to also see them playing. And I was really happy outside. But also as a player, I, even in off season, I worked so much to play the 20 games and more. But then when you don't get to play it, it's really, it's really, it's really not a good feeling for a player to sit outside. And the process has been really, really hard every day working. And that's kind of, I think I really worked hard to be sitting here also maybe on the training field if I'm doing training today. I have to believe in myself a lot and go through a tough time working on myself. Okay. Thank you, Rao. Thank you, Coach. All the best for tomorrow's Thank game. You. Hope we qualify. Thank you. Thank you, Krishnan. Can we have Basil's question, please? Uh, thank you. Hi, Coach. Uh, hi, Rahul. Uh, this is Basil from uh, Zillis. Hello, Basil. Um, uh, let me start with you first. Uh, so we have uh, three players, uh, Alvaro, Diaz, and Gutierrez on three yellow cards so far. So they are in like coverage of getting another card and being suspended uh, suspended for next game. As we are playing like a pressing or attack or ended football, there's so how would you tackle this uh, situation? Well, you know. The these boys, they are grown ups and uh, they know the responsibility being on the pitch and, uh, you know, playing these kind of games. And we talk about that even uh, before the game. But you never know. Uh, during one football game, when you are in the duels, when you tackle, especially with some uh, 
different, I'll say, uh, referee's decision. Uh, you never know. Sometimes when you are in a duel full of adrenaline and uh, your action and reaction on the pitch, you know, it happens that you get yellow cards. So it leads you to suspension. Uh, but that's the part of football. So uh, they are now at that limit. Uh, so hope that uh, tomorrow they will not get yellow card on a stupid way. Uh, we don't know. Uh, uh, this year we were never the in the favor of of referees, but we, we cannot count on those things. They have to be ready 100%. They have to be concentrated. So, and then we'll see how, how they will manage the limit. We know, and we can just uh, talk about it and say that they should be careful. So not making stupid fouls, which will lead them to yellow cards, not discussing mm -hmm. with the referees, not losing temper, not losing energy, being concentrated on our game. And uh, that's how they can go through, uh, through the whole 90, 95 minutes uh, without uh, getting booked. So hopefully it will be the case tomorrow, but no, no, we'll see tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, uh, Mumbai has been playing like uh, attack or ended football so far in the league. Uh, they are placed uh, third, I guess, when it comes to goal scoring with 34 goals or something. And on the other hand, we, KBFC, is the least conceded team with just 19 goals. So as we are in a do-or-die situation, do you think uh, scoring one or two goals and defend until the final whistle uh, would work tomorrow? Or are you planning to play like uh, all like, all out at a kind of football? Seeing that the, the game is one of the final games in this competition, having uh, big stakes, of course, mm -hmm. there will be part of the game where uh, you want to press Kyle, where you need to defend. So, mm -hmm. of course, our style and the way we play... Uh, we like to have possession, we have to press high, we like to uh, uh, to uh, have clean sheets, you know, with our defensive line, with our block. So I think that in tomorrow's game, both teams will consider organizing, having all those elements. Because uh, it's not like it was in November or December, you know, because the difficult and different period, many things have changed since then. Uh, not only in our camp or uh, our opponent camp, but in all other teams. You see many injuries around uh, ISL now in all, all teams. Even I think one month ago, even uh, before that, I was telling that many teams will suffer with injuries. Uh, many teams will not uh, end up the season in full squads because that's the format of ISL. So tomorrow, I think they will try to attack, we will try to attack. They will have to defend, we will have to defend. I think that in tomorrow's game, we'll see all elements of a football where both teams will be fighting for points. Because from point of, of, of view for, from both coaches, we want to get points. So that's it. So it will be a, an open fight and it will be like an uh, exhausting fight till, till the last moment. That's what I'm expecting to, from tomorrow's game. <laughs> Hi, Rahul. Uh, let me just ask you one thing. Um, yeah. So we have uh, seen you working so hard for the team. I have my friends at KBFC telling me you're one of the guys who really set it out uh, in the training sessions. But uh, injuries have been uh, pulling you back so many times. So do you have any future plans, like like not to be an injury prone footballer? I I cannot answer this question in a way like I want to. No player want to get injured because more than anyone if i'm here because i love football like you know i want to play every games that's how i think and that's how i want every player nobody want to just say like i want to sit out or miss a training or miss a game nobody want to do that when a person really loves football and that's all mm -hmm. i want to do and i can never say something that i can never control because injuries some injuries maybe players can control by taking care of their body some sometimes when you don't take care of your body you can get certain injuries like muscle pulls or something and that's something you can maybe take care of like you know and but some things it's unpredictable you never know how you can get it so i think my thing is to understand my game and you know the play the way that i am and mm -hmm. keep it up with it and not worry about the injuries because the injuries that i can avoid for sure i'll try my best to do that but the injuries that i cannot do nothing it can happen anytime i never but no, also can break your ankle. So it's never it's never in your hands. So, you know, I just hope that nothing really happens. And, you know, if I'm grown up with a lot of passion and football is just, yeah. not just being a sport in my blood. And it's always been done. My father, my father's brother, everyone been into football before. So I know how it feels to be here. And 
I know where I am today and I'm, I'm really blessed. And I'm still with a smile even I have injuries or anything because I'm something, I'm doing something that I can, you know, enjoy and still learn from it. And that's like a big blessing. Not everyone can do that. Not everyone have this that's kind cool. of comfort. We, you know, you get to do what you love and still get paid from it. It's like a really good blessing. And I have that's to respect right. that. So I'm here doing what I can and I love this sport and I'll do everything in a positive way to play football because nothing without football for sure. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much, Rahul. Uh, Thank that's you. all for the time. Thank you, Basil. Do we have any more questions? Um, can I go? Uh, may I know who is this, please? Um, Kaushal from IFTWC. Okay, Kaushal. Yes. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, I'm from IFTWC. So, uh, my question is that uh, Mumbai is a team who have scored most of their goals in the first half this season. Although Kerala haven't considered a lot in the first half, whenever they have considered in the first half, they haven't been able to win those matches. So, do you think this has to do with the mentality of the players and how do you look to resolve this aspect of the game as we are already into the final run of matches? Well, these are the statistics uh, showing uh, how certain teams perform in the first and the second half. You know, and uh, of course, in this kind of play tomorrow, uh, this is the game where you have to be fully concentrated and organized uh, because you are facing a good opponent. But again, all the games since we started for us were tough. All the games were, uh, were difficult. Not one game for us was easy. Uh, so uh, both teams uh, know that tomorrow we are facing uh, good teams with good organization, uh, good uh, scoring possibilities, uh, physical work and physical uh, fight. So when we see the statistics, it can give us uh, some information. But I think that tomorrow we'll see a completely different approach and different game than anything else. And I think now at the end, like in last week, uh, it's about character and mentality, how you will uh, attack and how you will approach the game. Of course, speaking tactically, or uh, it's, about, uh, it's about fight. It's about uh, pressure. It's about... Uh, how you will face certain uh, moments during that game and it will make uh, a difference tomorrow. So that's a good team with quality players who can score goals easily. Uh, from the other side, we are the team who wants to, uh, to be tough to beat, you know, uh, also with the players who can score in front. So I think that both teams tomorrow will be uh, organized, both teams will be very careful and both teams will be uh, trying to uh, how we say, uh, to the stample and uh, show that they can dominate the, the game. So I think and I'm expecting, like I said, interesting and good game from both sides and all these statistics now we have to put aside because it will be a fight for points, you know, because there is no more time and space later to calculate, to think about, or it's a last week. It's a last week, last two games, so you have to go all in. That's all. Thank you, Coach, and all the best to both of you for tomorrow's game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kaushal. Do we have any more questions? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, this is Abid Ali from uh, TFNB. Uh, shall Hello, I proceed Abhi. with it? Okay. Oh, thanks, Coach. Uh, my question is to Rahul. Uh, earlier seasons, you were playing in the right wing or predominantly in the wing positions. Uh, during last game, uh, we saw you more towards the center, like a second striker. Uh, which role do you prefer? Uh, what What are the changes you have to make in your game for the role change? Uh, to be honest, for me, like uh, I'm a player who got used to playing different position. Even I think I played World Cup as a right back on my first game. And I also play striker, attack midfielder and both sides fingers. So I think there has never really been a problem with me, like trying to adapt to a new position, like, uh, you know, learn a lot. But for sure, I'm, I'm still a young player. I need to learn a lot from every position. I'm not saying I'm a perfect winger or a perfect striker. No, but I still, I think I can play without thinking too much, you know, like some basics I got. And I still need to learn from every position that I play. But also it depends on the coach. Like, you know, you have to you have to be ready when the coach puts you somewhere because he has the trust in you and he thinks that you can do something and coach should never put you somewhere else without thinking that I'm right for that position. 
So I have to be flexible, like, you know, maybe not everyone can be flexible playing different positions, but I think I can because I've got used to it. Uh, before, so the teams that I played, I've, I've played a striker, also wingers, and also right back and attacking midfielders, every position that I've tried. So for me, it wasn't really a hard thing for me to adapt to that position. So I think I'm flexible and I can play because I believe in myself that I can play. Really? Right back? Yeah, but I don't want to tell you because you might put me in right now. Thanks. From tomorrow, we change your position. You go to right back. <laughs> so I guess we have a new option for right oh. back there. Excellent. You asked the wrong question. Thanks, Rahul. Oh. It's good for it's the team. You right back. Yes, right. You would put me in right back and see. And if I play good, then I will stop scoring. You don't have to be scared now. We'll put you. Don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for the answer. Uh, all the best. I hope you guys qualify. Uh, all the best. Thank for you. The... Thank you very much, Abid Ali. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any more questions? So I guess that was the last question. Uh, let's wrap today's PC. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Rahul, for joining. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Good luck for tomorrow's match. Thanks. Yeah, bye-bye.